So welcome back you two to our maths lesson. We're going to carry on from yesterday where we're looking at multiplication and division. We're going to start with a very quick warm up, something very easy, our two times table. Now do it with me, we're going to go fast. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. Two times four is Eight. Two times five, ten. Two times six, twelve. Two times seven, fourteen. Two times eight, sixteen. Two times nine, eighteen. Two times ten, twenty. And two times eleven, 22, 2 times 12, 24. Great work, you two. Now let's take a look at multiplying and dividing by 3. Let's start with multiplying by 3. How many cherries are there all together? How many groups are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. How many cherries in each group? 1, 2, 3. So 4 times 3 makes 12. There are 12 cherries all together. We've seen that 4 times 3 makes 12. Let us now look at the multiplication table of 3 to see what happens when we multiply the numbers by 3s. So we can see that they jump up in 3s. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and 30. We can also count on in 3s from 0 to get all the multiplications of 3. As we can see, on the number line. Let's take a look at division now. Put 15 tomatoes equally into three groups. So there they are at the top. 15 divided by 3 makes 5. So I have three groups with 5 each. There are 5 tomatoes in each group. Put 15 tomatoes into groups of 3. So now we've divided the 15 into three groups and we have five. There are five groups with three tomatoes each. So let's take a look at these uh, sums. You're going to fill in the box below. I'm going to do the first two for you. So A, seven times three. is 21, so B, something divided by three makes seven is 21. Now let's stop there a minute. Can we see a pattern? 7, 3, 21. For division, 21, 3, 7. It's the same as multiplication, just backwards. Now let's try the other one. I want you to try this one yourself. So 3 times something makes 3. 3 times 1 makes 3. So 3 divided by 1 makes 3. Did you get that right? Right, let's take a look at question two. Each cone has three scoops of ice cream. So we're going to complete the table. Take a look at the ice cream cone at the side. It's one cone. It has green, pink, and yellow for their scoops, making three. So if I have two, there will be six in total. Two green, two pink, two yellow. Now let's take a look at the next one. So three cones means there will be nine. 3 times 3 is 9. Let's look at the next one. I have 5 cones. Each have 3. So, 5 times 3 is 15. 9 cones. 9 times 3 is 27. Our last question on the sheet. Form two multiplication sentences about the picture below. There are many different ways. So pause the video and try. Maybe you'll get more than two. So I chose 2 times 6 makes 12 and 3 times 4 makes 12. Don't worry if you've got different ones because there are so many different ways. So let's take a look at these questions. How many oranges are there all together? There are two groups and in each group there are three. So two times three makes 
six. There are six oranges all together. Easy, right? Let's look at the next group. So how many groups all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five. So there are five groups. How many in each group? One, two, three, five times three. How many all together? Fifteen. There are fifteen oranges all together. Let's take a look at the next one. I want you to do it as quick as possible. Three times nine, twenty-seven. Three times one, three. Did you manage to do that as fast as me? So let's start looking at multiplying and dividing by four. How many cats' paws do four cats have together? So four times four, because they have two for their front hands and two for the back. So four times four is 16. Four cats have 16 paws all together. We have seen that 4 times 4 equals 16. Let us now look at the multiplication table of 4 to see what happens when we multiply other numbers by 4. So we're going to be jumping in 3s. They are always even numbers. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. Right, we're going to be dividing by 4 now. So, we have 28 balloons. I need to divide them into 4 groups equally. So, I need to give them to 4 different people. So, 28 divided by 4 means that they will all get 7 balloons. There are 7 balloons in each group. We could also try it this way. Now, we've got 28 balloons and we're going to put them into groups of 4. So, everybody gets four balloons. So 28 divided into four still makes seven. So what do you notice about the two answers? They're exactly the same. There are seven groups with four balloons or there are seven balloons in each group of four. Now let's look at these sums. Remember the rule that I told you. So A and B are going to be the same. So let's check it out. So 3 times 4 is 12. So B must be 12 divided by 4 makes 3. Did you get that right? So we're going to do the same with C and D. So 9 times 4 is 36. Guess what D is? 36 divided by 4 is 9. Excellent. I hope it's getting easier for you now and you're beginning to see the pattern here. Now we're going to look at two multiplication sentences about the picture below. So just like the question we looked at before, there are many different answers. But let's take a look. Think of as many as possible. I chose 4 times 7 makes 28. Now I'm going to do it the other way. 7 times 4 makes 28. So let's look at the last question. Mary can fold four paper cranes in one minute. How many paper cranes can she fold in ten minutes? So, so four, four cranes in one minute. And we're looking at ten. So four times ten is... Forty. Did you get that right? So now let's finish with looking at this worksheet. How many birds are there all together? We've got two nests and four in each nest. So, I'll let you do the answer. Eight. There are eight birds all together. Seven nests with four birds. So seven times four, 28 and 28. Let's look at the last question. It says, color the pebbles that show the correct answers to the multiplication sentence to help Turtle Todd find his way home. So we're going to do it together. If it's right, we're going to put a tick on it. So 4 times 4 is 13, or 4 times 3 is 12. Correct. So 4 times 8 is 32, or 4 times 1 is 8. Which one is correct? 4 times 8 is 32. Correct. Okay, let's take a look at our next one. 10 times 4 is 40. Or 7 times 4 is 21. That's correct. 10 times 4 is 40. Now our last sum. 6 times 4 is 24. 
or 4 times 9 is 25. That's correct. Now our friend is home. Great work here too. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you're starting to see the patterns emerging from division and multiplication. I also hope they're coming to you quite easy now and you're remembering what you've looked at in your previous lessons. In our next lesson we're going to continue with multiplication and division. Until then, take care and I'll see you tomorrow.